Hello, this is Tyler with Appliance Service by Paul, located in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're going to walk you through the proper steps of how to replace your washer that isn't spinning. Okay, one of the most common reasons your top load washer is not going to spin is either because of your belt or your coupler. This particular washer has a coupler. In order to access the coupler, we're going to remove the drain pump clamps. Once we have the clamps removed, we can just move this drain pump off to the side and remove the motor plug. On this particular washer, there's a couple other plugs. Not all will have these. I'm going to remove those two. You then have two quarter inch screws. I'm going to remove those two screws and then pop the clamps off, which are the exact same style clamp that is on your drain pump. Once we remove the clamps, the motor will be able to be pulled right out. This is where we'll see the coupler. You're going to remove the coupler piece from the transmission shaft. Uh, you're going to take the new one, line it up on the shaft. Once it gets close, I like to use a 3 8 nut driver because it will seat right on top of there. And then you're just going to hammer it into place. Once that lines up square, you're good to go. You'll then get your rubber piece that goes on the coupler, put it in place, and you're going to do the same thing on the washer or motor as well. There's another one of these coupler pieces. Now the best way to put this back on is I like to take and put the empty hole on top, and then you're going to take your motor and put the shaft up top, because you're not going to be able to see what you're doing when you're putting the motor back in place. Once you've got the motor in place, you're going to reattach your clips that hold the motor. You're then going to re-plug back in the motor. and then reattach your drain pump to the front.